Want to make your browser-based demos look their best? Well, this is part two in a series with demo pro tips and really builds off the first episode. And if you missed that one, you can still check that out at aka.ms slash demo tips. In this episode, I'm gonna focus on how to demo from the browser. And I'm gonna be using Chromium-based Edge here, but most of what I'm gonna to show today in the next couple of minutes applies to almost any modern browser. So let's get started. So I'm gonna launch Edge, and you'll notice that I have a couple of tabs open to save time. Now my Windows display settings from the last video are 1920 by 1080, and scale is set to 125%, and the browser is at 100% zoom. So I'm gonna start with uh, browser profiles first. As you can see here, I'm logged in as our favorite demo persona, Megan Bowen, but I also have a couple of additional personas. So these are similar to the tips that I showed in the last video for protecting your privacy and sensitive information using separate demo personas uh, in the browser. That does the same thing here. So even more importantly though, it also allows you to demo in the context of multiple different logged in users. So for example, if Megan is a Microsoft 365 administrator, you can show her point of view uh, with additional admin controls in this case, or you can then switch to the Work3 Jeremy profile with standard user permissions and show what Jeremy can see. Likewise, as you can see, there are also accounts in different cloud tenants, so you don't even need to load multiple browsers anymore or use in private mode to accomplish this. So now I'm gonna stay in the context of Megan, and I'm gonna point out the tabs that we have open first. You can see that I'm in the Office 365 Home tab right now. I also have a Word on the Web tab is the next one, then another Office 365 Home tab, then a PowerPoint tab. Now what I'm going to do with these in a moment is show you a way to avoid seeing web page load times, and we'll come back to these in a second, but commit them to short-term memory. And the next tip, and the most important tip to remember, is really to use the F11 full screen key for your browser to get that into full screen. Now F11 is your friend, maybe your best friend. It gives you more space for the demo, it hides all the other open tabs, it hides the page uh, that's, maybe if it's actually on local host or a staging site, you don't need to worry about host file mods, and if you don't know what host file mods are, that's probably a good thing because the F11 key is now your friend. Now remember our tab, so here's how we're gonna eliminate those page load times for our audience. I'm gonna hover over the word icon, and when you see that little hamburger helper looking hand, I'm gonna go ahead and hit Control plus tab. Now that looks like I clicked on it, but I actually didn't. So I'm gonna go uh, back to the home tab here in this case using hover and Control tab. I'll do it one more time with PowerPoint. Now to be clear, these specific Office 365 pages load pretty much instantly, but think of all those times where you might have to open a file or charts need to load, etc. Now web page load times can pretty much kill the energy of your demo, and once you master this technique, everything goes a heck of a lot faster. So the next trick that I wanna show you is one of the more powerful ones for demoing in a browser. Let's say, you wanna change text or image elements of a page. Maybe you're using a code name or renaming your product or service. Maybe it's coming from Windows Virtual Desktop and becoming Azure Virtual Desktop. Or you want bigger numbers for the charts or list totals that you have on the screen. Well, there's a quick fix for that. You don't need to do this while editing a recorded demo. Plus, it works in this case if you scroll up or down the page, which would be really hard to do if you're editing that in a recorded demo. And to do this, you can just use your, your new friend F11's neighbor, the F12 key. Uh, so let's say I wanna change the word afternoon in this case to evening on this page. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the F12 key. That's gonna open up DevTools. And again, this method works in most browsers. Then I'll hit the select button and that lets me navigate to a section on the page and expose it in HTML. So I'll click on good afternoon and that takes me into the page's HTML and I can expand the section here. And our string is in quotes here. I'm gonna edit the word afternoon to be the word evening. And there it is on our page. Now we'll close the DevTools pane and it's still there. Now you'll wanna combine this trick with the Control plus Tab trick because once you reload that page, it'll revert back to its real value. And you can do this easily with just about any text on the screen. You can even use other image files or replace icons as long as the path to them is coded correctly and can resolve. And you can also use this trick to delete items from a page, like maybe iframes that contain banner ads that you don't wanna show or other things that you don't wanna see. You just have to select it using the same way I selected afternoon in that case, then hit the delete key. 
Now the last thing I want to show you pays off the first tip using user profiles in Edge or Chrome just to be able to jump in and out of other cloud tenants and user personas. Of course, you can switch between windows using Alt-Tab, but that's quite visible to your audience and there is a cleaner way to switch windows using desktops in this case. So I'm going to move to another browser instance by simultaneously pressing Shift plus the Windows key and the right arrow. And that's going to take me to another user and tenant in the second Edge browser window that's logged in as Jeremy. So it's already full screened, of course, using our best friend F11. And I can use the Control Tab key again to show the different tenant branding and Word on the Web tab that you couldn't see in this case. Plus, it's going to be a nice segue to my next topic, which is about using separate desktops in Windows for managing multi-part demos. Again, I hope this is useful information and you've seen something that you may not have seen before. Please leave any comments for additional demo tips that you have. And I have a few more of these in the works, kind of like the plot to the original Karate Kid movie. I plan to put all these tips together and then show how it works in one big comprehensive demo a few weeks from now. Until then, hit subscribe to see more tips like this, and thanks so much for watching.